Hello there, Taurus. We're going to have a full moon on the 27th of April. So I want to do a little reading, a little check-in on that. But first of all, we should know that the concept, like the, the theme, I guess, for this full moon, it's a full moon in Scorpio, it's all about authenticity. It's all about coming into alignment with our true selves and asking ourselves what's more important. Maintaining control over what other, other people think of us or being in true alignment with who we really are. That's what the Scorpio full moon wants us to, to consider. So let's find out what your messages are. Just a quick introduction, I'm Michelle B. And if you love the energy of this reading, make sure you subscribe so that you can be in the loop as to all the readings that I put out on a regular basis, two or three a week. Okay, so the card that came up was the Eight of Cups, which is a little bit of a sad energy. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes that happens in this, when, we, when we take a really good look at what we've got in front of us and we're like, yeah, that's not really working for me. There's, I've got a train friend that might be coming. I've heard it. I can hear him tooting off in the distance. We'll see if he shows up. Anyway, so you're looking at something. This is like a, a relationship. This is a, a work environment. We'll wait for this friend, my friend to go by. Any more toots? Toot. <laughs> anyway. And you're saying, maybe it's time for me to go do my own thing. You've like thoroughly assessed the situation and I feel like you come to the conclusion that talking about it's not working. You really do need to go off and do your own thing. Let's get a couple of more, couple more cards to clarify, get some advice and some outcome kinds of things. But basically, um, I guess reinforcing something that's already in your head, if that's a, a concern that you already have. Um, it's just reinforcing that it's like if there's something that you're feeling like you need to walk away from you come to the point where negotiations or you know trying to work it out is not working it's just it's time to take a break and the thing about the eight of cups is it doesn't necessarily mean leaving forever it just means taking a break okay all right so we got the queen of swords this is a lady that's not afraid to call call it as it is She's like, she's like, we talked and talked and talked and talked. Uh, she, she's got her hand out and she's welcoming the concerns and the opinions of the other parties. But it's, but also she's got her sword up because she knows that there's like, there's a lot of attacks. There's a lot of, um, I guess it's, it's the tit for tat back and forth that happens with the other party. Where you're, ta where you're talking and then they'll, they'll like let out some kind of passive aggressive comment or something like that. It's just like immature commentary coming from the other people or straight up lies, straight up like not telling the truth about what the, what's going on with them. So she's just like, all right, well bring me your conversation, but I know that a lot of the things that you're gonna say aren't gonna be true. So like, what's, what's the point of trying to negotiate and converse with someone that's not gonna be fully at the table with you? So that's, that's the advice. That's the advice that we've got. It's also clarification for those of you who needed it. That's like, oh yeah, that is me. I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to negotiate, but the other party can be a little bit immature. They're not bringing their authentic selves to the table. And we're just not going anywhere with this. Let's look at some outcomes. Uh, according, to the, according to the trajectory that we're at at this moment, what have we got here? We got the moon, it's in reverse, it doesn't look good. See, these two moons are kind of the same. They both have their eyes closed. You see that? Both closed eyes, different, totally different deck. Both have like, just like, mm, I don't see that it's going to work out or I don't want to face my demons. And it could be you that doesn't want to face your demons. You know, maybe that's something that you need to do. I see you walking toward the moon there. So like by demons, I mean like, our own energy blocks, our own blocks to love, our own blocks to abundance. It's like, I just don't want to look at that. I want, I'd rather just, you know, and that's when you're in a relationship with someone, when you're in a connection or you're in a career, which is a kind of a relationship, um, you really got to look seriously into your own soul and sort your own crap out. That's super important. So don't run away from it. Go toward it, 
figure it out, come to terms with it. So that's something that's gonna have to happen. You don't like it, but it will have to happen. So that is in your trajectory, you working on your own garbage. And good, 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 good. And finally, we got the Hierophant, which is you in the archetypal personalities of the tarot. Hierophant is representative of Taurus. It's just, it's the, uh, the tradition, the status quo, the, um, the standard, the, um, the format. <laughs> this is, this is the standard, the tradition that we've set, right? So eventually you're looking to settle down, right? Eventually you're looking to settle down into something that's safe and comfortable and you have not felt safe and comfortable in the place where you're at right now. You need more structure. That's something that you definitely, that's really important to you, okay? And sometimes to have the, the, the best possible control over our environment is to do things on our own. Nothing wrong with that. No shame in that whatsoever. In, um, in just doing things for yourself for a little while so you can get the structure to get your ducks in a row, your own personal ducks in a row. Okay, so there are times when it's good to try to negotiate and there's times when you just need to take a break from each other. And I feel like maybe this isn't something, this isn't something that's going to, um, a, a situation that's like gonna be ended forever. It's like you're taking a break kind of thing. And then like come back to it later after you have a little bit more structure in your own life, after you feel a little bit more in control of what's going on for you. Okay, that's where I leave off. I'll see you later, uh, Taurus. <laughs> Happy birthday. Have a good season.